killers are out there, but until the pups begin to play in the surf, there's little chance of a meal. As dusk begins to fall, Rodion and the others follow the matriarch to one of her favorite haunts. Seal hunters who came here in Lison's grandmother's time told of whales that could be found at this spot. In turn, Delphine will pass the knowledge on to her grandchildren. That is, assuming the playful Delphine ever reaches such maturity. This is where Lison takes time out from family responsibilities. She can drift in the current, allowing the seaweed to massage her back. Delphine examines the rock face. She must be careful not to cut her sensitive skin, but a gentle pumice stone-like scrub will help get rid of any itch. But these gestures are purely playful. Everyone who's watched this family is convinced that they come simply to relax and enjoy the sensations. Sometimes they spend up to six hours here in a seemingly dreamlike state. Whales don't sleep, but they can shut off half their brain while the other half takes care of breathing and staying afloat. 